Okay, so these men use the word of God, it says in the Bible. It says they use the word of God and make it speak, okay? They use it, but they have no life in them. It says that um, the Egyptians' chariots have no spirit. Mm -hmm, that's what it says. The Egyptians' chariots have no spirit. Their horses have no spirit. So these men use the Bible as babble. Babylon, they have no understanding of the word of God, or they do, and they conceal the truth so that you don't have the fire of God in you because it burns their little demons up, okay? Your fire will burn their demons up because it's the truth, the spirit of truth, and the spirit of truth bur burns up the lies. Whenever you have the truth, your loins gird with truth, you can defeat the enemy because you are saved by faith in the truth. Who is the truth? Jesus. Jesus leads you to all truths by his spirit. The spirit wins the war. We are fighting in our, a, a, a battle of darkness and light, but it's not our battle. God is fighting it, okay? If you have given your life to him, he is fighting it using your vessel, but if you are serving the flesh and not righteousness, you're still serving death. There's no reward, but you will be saved. Um, but those who are fighting the darkness are letting the Spirit of God work and move and have their being through your vessel, your body, your temple of God. And how that looks is what I'm doing and many brothers and sisters all over the world are doing. We are the true kings of God. We are the priests of God. We are the children of God. And we are the saints of God. This man has no right to saint anybody. Anyone who believes in Jesus Christ is a saint. Okay? Old things have passed away. All new things have come in. You're a new creature in Christ Jesus in his body. Okay? We're all in his big body. Okay? All of us. And that's how we are able to talk to Father God through him in his name. Because we're in him. His blood covering us. Our sin. Okay? Um, and our blood record is, is wiped clean with the blood of Jesus. But if you remain in sin, you're not remaining in Jesus, obviously. Okay? Uh, because the wages of sin is death. So once you give your life to him and he moves you and he, he decides, you know, what time it is for you to be filled or, if, you know, he's going to do it. And um, it says that the whole, all flesh, okay, so the fire will be poured out, fire of God will be poured out on all flesh. Yes, this is a good thing. But will you have anything left? That's the question. Okay, so. Um, we were talking about the mark of the beast on the forehead. It's in their hands. It's in their magic tricks. Uh, Solomon fell into this, and they follow King Solomon in all of his ways because he had uh, Egyptian wives and fell into idolatry and pagan occultic practices, sorcery, philosophy of man. And this is what these men do. You know, they think they're, you know, all holy and stuff because they know secrets, secret, hi secret hidden wisdom. But that secret hidden wisdom is going to be the fall of them. Okay, it's going to be the fall of them. These worship the prince, they're the princes of Baal. They worship Baal, and you see all the Baal arches and everything all over the earth in America, in cathedrals, everything. It's everywhere. It's Satan worship. So they're knowledge seekers, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, man's good and man's evil. It's duality and it's death. Okay, so um, <clears throat> How do you cast Satan out of the kingdom of heaven? Because kingdom, the, how does go, uh, Satan force his way into the kingdom? Well, I showed you just a little bit ago. What is the kingdom of heaven? It's within you. You're inside you. Okay, so if it's in within you, okay, and these beasts are trying to get in your mind and your, your eye and in your, in your kingdom. Um, oops. Let's see. Let's go forward here. Sorry, I don't know where it is. Um, uh, no, it's the Telelive Vision. Uh, hold on, sorry. Um, I don't know what to put. 